Local Church Bible Publisher is my favorite publisher. I actually got a three-piece from them. You can see in my videos uh, the other day. But, um, man, I'm like in vampire mode here. I don't, I'm not going to be able to play guitar later. But uh, but anyways, this is an incredible Bible. The floppiness, like the feel of this leather is even better than my church Bible Ruckman um, that you get from the K, uh, Bible Baptist bookstore. But I like that burgundy, but this is more of just like a, a red. It's not like an overly shocking red or anything or lipstick red. It's just a nice in person red. And it's just such a floppy, flexible a caskin, it's ironed, but look how the river grain's already coming in and it's brand new. So it just, it's, it's incredible. It's a, um, midsize. So it's, uh, you know, very similar to like, a. it's kind of like a nine and a half by six and a half. Uh, I don't have the exact dimension there, but gives a nice little yap on the side. Uh, nothing too big. Uh, I can compare it to, you know, another midsize like Allen, but, you know, this is a $240 long primer. This is like half that price. It wasn't even that much. I want to say it was like 80 with shipping, like, like just incredible. So, um, local church, Bible publishers.com. And I, you know, I love the long primer. It's a flagship of Allen, but like, I just, I grab for this Bible, Bibles like this, I feel like I grab more. Like, to compare it to a hand size uh, Zondervan, like, I love this Heritage NIV Zondervan, but, you know, this one's a little bit taller, right? But it's a perfect dimension, like, width-wise. It's not overly fat. You don't have a ton of notes to get through. I just want the Bible. I don't, I don't need like a giant, uh, concordance. It does have a concise Bible dictionary. So it's kind of cool that when you're, you know, you, you do get a concordance, but it's not like an overly chubby Bible. Okay. So if you're in first John way over here, it's balanced. It's not trying to slap shut. It's Smith's own and it's going to stay open for you. Um, and you can see that the fonts are nice. There's not a lot of bleed through, and uh, um, I want to say it's about a 10-point font, maybe 11, and very dark. And this is actually a not only a red Bible, but a red letter edition. Check it out. Here we are in Mark, and you get that. So just, man, this, this thing just wins on so many... And, you know, I can compare it to some church Bibles that I have, but the reason I like local church Bibles uh, isn't just because of the original, but uh, it's just the feel of the Bible when you grab it. It makes you want to pick it up. Um, it's not an overly big midsize. It's kind of on the skinny side. They give you um, a couple skinny little ribbons. It looks like it is single satin. Nice tooling on the side. Nice um stitching on the side also but i just love the flexibility of this leather it's it's not overly thick it's not too thin um my humble lamb was a little on the thin side but i missed that bible i lost it in the hurricane uh, like so many others but uh you can see you get one two three four five six actually spine hubs is that right i can't this one yeah well, this down here is just tooling. That's not a hub. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then up here looks kind of like one, but that's that's just um, some extra leather with uh, that's tooled in. So just an incredible feel to it. Um, again, I, I think it even feels better than, you know, I thought this was the coolest iron calfskin I'd ever gotten with this Ruckman. It's not as soft and supple as this. So, um, plus it's cool. Like, I don't think I have a red Bible. Um, I remember getting one for my for my mom. But this is not like an overly shocking red that you wouldn't, you know, th th a dude could totally rock this. So, um, yeah, iron calfskin. The liner on the inside just feels like maybe um, just regular, maybe cowhide. Uh, tight corner work, 
and they make these at cost. So this feels like a this feels like a two hundred dollar Bible, guys, and you're getting it for sixty plus. The UPS was a lot; it took it up to like eighty four or something like that. But you're still getting such a quality Bible for for eighty four. Um, I looked at the hand size close too, but I already have a three piece hand size. The single piece feels even better. It's not as much of a gush to it. It's more of a just a flexible, nice feel. Look at that gilding, solid gold bars, just like my rhymes. Uh, <laughs> but you got, I mean, it just, I love the way it hugs over the book block already. It's already wanting to break in so nice. And, um, Again, it's just not, uh, just to compare to like, for instance, a, uh, this isn't a long primer. It's a, uh, I know it is, it's a long primer. Um, but you can see like kind of a chunker, whereas this one's a little thinner, a little more portable, you know? So I kind of like that. I know the Allens have the cool yap and everything, but like, um, if you look at like how good the, let's look at like the Psalms. Let's go to the middle of the Bible here. Okay, we got verse by verse. Okay, King James. So same here, right? We're going to have verse by verse, King James. Now you say, well, this paper is a little thicker. It's 36 GSM, whereas this is probably going to be more. This feels like um, they might stick together because it's so new, you know. I noticed that... LC, uh, local church Bible publishers will, LCBP will sometimes get a little wispy on the side and they connect and you just, you just separate it. It feels like more like 32 GSM, um, but crisp and good. And, you know, I might give as far as boldness, you got to give it to this, but again, this is 230 plus shipping and this was 84 including shipping. So I, I just am really uh, a fan of these. If I get down in here, you can see kind of the size. And uh, again, very nice for a midsize, not overly big. This would be like uh, versus a hand size. You can see this is a little bit taller, about a half inch taller. Um, goes over about an inch uh, more left and right. And then you can see this one's a little bit chunkier but has a lot of great notes in it too, uh, especially if you're more like independent Baptist. But anyways, uh, just a great Bible, and um, uh, you could probably tell I'm pretty excited. I like that it's got some its own signature little goat scars here. Um, I'm sorry, calf scars. Oh, man. I hope he wasn't too young a calf, but... Uh, I hope he died of natural causes and he was, you know, trying to rescue somebody and, and something happened to him. And they just said, well, while he's here, <laughs> if you don't like that they're using animal skin, you might have a problem with the Old Testament um, and new because, you know, they do quite a bit of sacrifices. But um, now in the New Testament, Jesus died for us. He's the ultimate. He's the ultimate sacrifice. But they do have vegan leather options if some of these farms you're not sure if they're being you know if they're letting some of these calves see the light of day um if that bothers you but i i feel like as a christian uh god um made us superior to the animals and as long as we kill them in a humane way we're allowed to do that um but uh anyways this is just uh just gorgeous and if you compare it to this other handheld, this is probably the one I pick up the most because uh, I just love the NIV. See, they do their poetry books kind of, um, you know, single column and, and verse by verse. But if you go down to the, um, yeah, Matthew, you know, the gospel, they still like the single column. Kind of a cool blue under silver gilding. Uh, this doesn't go, it's not art gilding or anything, it's just gold. And But I... I just love uh, use the prophetic books. Just love how it feels. It's just uh, great paper. Um, the red is solid. And yeah, it does have a decent size concordance without being over. Look at all the notes they give you. That's a ton of notes. That's like Allen level amount of notes, guys. That's like one. I mean, if I had to count all these, two, 
three. I mean, we're we're still going. Okay, that's that was like five I just turned over. I just turned over five or six more. They got like 20 pages of notes. And then they got really cool flat maps that aren't too glossy. You can totally write on them. Um, you could use a nice ballpoint or a felt. There is, you could totally write on those. And uh, some extra notes pages in the end. It's edge lined. It's uh, Smith sewn. As you can probably see, um, you know, they have the tail bands there and the head bands that they sew into and they reinforce it to edge line it. Um, and, you know, they just do a great job and they're missionaries and they have a church up there in Michigan and uh, they just do an incredible job. I mean, look at that. Just so clear. Let's get in close for you. Now, the serpent was more subtle. Look how they spell it in the Old English. Because we know today that that's spelled subtle. S-U-B-T-L-E, right? But back then, they didn't have the standard dictionary. This is the um, 1619 version. Unless I, I am a little tired if I'm getting that year wrong. That I know that it was during Shakespearean times that the King James version was translated and of course uh, the Texas Receptus uh, brought us brought us that and then uh, this would go back to earlier Alexandrian text to, to translate things like NIV and ESV and things like that but uh, I say you know read read a lot of them make sure it's an actual version not of just a paraphrase like the message uh, nothing wrong with reading that but you want a good study Bible get yourself a King James or a NIV or a ESV, NAS is another great one. I know at McGregor Baptist they used to uh, read that before they got into Holman. But uh, these are all good translations. But um, honestly, this is like my new favorite Bible because, um, I mean, red isn't for everybody. It's it's not overly done. It's It's vibrant. Um, but they have this in like black. I want to say there's like a... They, I think they have a burgundy, um, but I just thought this would be a little bit different, and it just melts in your hand. I mean, just look at the flexibility. Look look how it's just, it's hard to show with one hand, but look how it's wanting to give for you already. I mean, this is like a new Bible. You can see it already kind of twisting up for you, and, you know, there's a lot of Bibles that uh, can't exactly do that. Look, look at that. Look at how this goes here. Boom. We'll do it like Eggman Mania. And let it go. Or Eric 1111 are all those great Bible reviewers. Randy, all those dudes. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, just 10 out of 10. Uh, fantastic. Local church Bible publisher. They're winning souls, guys. Um, get some of their Bibles. Get them as gifts. Christmas is coming up. Love you guys.